SOLIDWORKS has the capability to take a cone or a funnel and give you a flat pattern using the sheet metal tools. To do this, the first step is to revolve a thin feature less than 360 degrees. I'll quickly show you the sketch that was used in this feature. As I edit the sketch, you'll see that it's just a simple line with a construction line as a center point. As I exit the sketch, let's take a look at the feature. This feature was revolved 359 degrees with a thickness of 1.5 inches. Revolving at less than 360 degrees provides a seam that is necessary to use in the flat pattern of the sheet metal. To turn this into a sheet metal part, click on the insert bends icon on the sheet metal toolbar. The only parameter that we need to provide for this is an edge that's along the seam. Other parameters in the bend parameters don't affect this part such as bend radius. The only one that will is the bend allowance. As I hit OK, it'll convert it into a sheet metal part. I can now click on the flatten button to see the results. Now that this has been done, a DWG or DXF flat pattern can be generated. To do this, right click on the flatten feature and choose export to DXF DWG. One of the final steps will let you remove any entities you don't want. The other way to get a flat pattern is to put the cone into a drawing. A flat pattern view is provided. Once a sheet metal part has been put into a drawing, when you return to the part, you'll notice that in the Configuration Manager, a derived configuration has been generated. This is provided so that the actual sheet metal part can reside in the folded state, while the drawing shows a flat pattern view.